What is good, Gray Gang? We are right here today. We are actually turning this gun right here, which has been on the channel quite a bit, into the ultimate coyote hunting pack. If you don't know about this gun, this is my Ruger American in 223 caliber. I've done quite a bit of stuff with this gun. I've actually smoked stinking groundhog with it. That's like three years ago. Then I smoked a deer with it. Smoked may be an exaggerated term, but I killed a deer with it. That was about two years ago, and I'll be honest, since then, this gun's not been getting enough love on the channel. I've not really killed many animals since then. I'm uh, not exactly the best hunter in the world. Hey, you'd be slacking. Yeah, I know. Anyways, we, we did try to kill a lot of coyotes with this, but we actually never seen one. But round three of Kit KG versus Coyote Hunting is taking off this spring. As you guys know, it is March. Yeah, we, we filmed this video a long time ago. It's it's not March anymore. Honestly, one of the only things that there, we have to do right now is Coyote Hunt. So, that's what we're going to try to do. But enough talking. We got to turn this thing into the ultimate Coyote Hunting setup. Now, we got some accessories over here. We got a new stock. We got some spray paint. We got this sponge. And I'm telling you guys, this is a really cool sponge. And don't underestimate it. Bipod, scope, scope rings, mounts, everything you could think of. We're turning this gun into the ultimate coyote hunting killing setup. First things first, we're taking out this new stock. And we're going to make it camouflage. It is a mag full stock, which kind of looks pretty epic, kind of tactical. Got it in black color, but it's not going to be black very long. But yeah, guys, as for this gun right now, we're about to turn it from a black stock to a camo stock right here. Looking pretty good so far, huh? Opinions about you, KG as a painter, have changed. There we go, that's what we're looking for. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> we put a lot of stuff on this gun, but we're not even close to being done. <laughs> We still got a lot of cool, useful accessories to make this thing literally the best possible OD killer you could dream of. And she is done the ultimate coyote hunting setup this thing's ready to go you saw us put the suppressor on there but it's actually not a real one but it does look cool and off camera we actually went ahead and painted it the same exact paint scheme now it's not going to help us any at all like i was saying but it looks really cool yeah <laughs> it looks really cool now let, let's first go over all the things we actually did to it so first and foremost we put a new stock on it custom paint job now the stock really not going to make a huge difference but it does like i was saying made it look cool but it also was more accessible for a bipod we put this carbon fiber bipod on it which is going to be good for coyote hunting because it swivels and it also extends out pretty far so whenever i'm sitting on my butt i can work up the bipod get it the perfect level and i won't have to carry around shooting sticks this stock is also really good because it allows me to attach a qd mount right here so for the sling if I want to take it off quick or anything but most importantly it has some in lock space for this predator hunting lot now in Kentucky we have recently been able to use predator lots at night with rifles and so yeah I got this in right here with a pressure pad it is red that way the coyotes and predators cannot see it that is going to be key that way I won't have to hold a lot and struggle I can just come over here press the button aim down sight it's in view boom dead we of course have the KG optic. Now this is an optic. It goes from 4.5 
to I think 18. We'll probably leave it on 4.5 for close up coyotes, but if one ever does stretch out, we can definitely be able to hit him. Now the good thing about this gun is that although it's pretty budget, like you can find these, I don't really know how much they are now. But you used to be able to find them for a little over $300. And with all the upgrades it has on it right now, $700 right now. Now a big part of this gun is actually the ammo that we're going to feed it. Now the ammo should be in the mailbox right now. So me and Ethan's going to head down there. We're going to get the ammo. Then we're going to come back and actually sight this thing in. Alright guys, what we're doing, we're back in the field now getting ready to sight it in. Now this is not your run of the mill steel Russian ammo. Unfortunately, because uh... Well, this costs five times as much. But for coyotes and consistency, this is what we're looking at. This is Freedom Munitions, not sponsored at all. This was like the only place that had ammo, so that's the place where I bought it. We're looking to have a sub MOA gun here. I know the gun's possible, but the bullets have to be possible too. You can't get sub MOA with bad ammo. It's just not how it works. But that is what it is. I think 55 grain, some kind of ballistic hornady tip. If this thing gets hit by a coyote, it's obviously gonna die. But the important thing is that with this bullet, I should be able to pull it, put it exactly where I want, at 100 yards on a target that big. And But that's what we're gonna test today. So we're gonna go ahead, side it in, and then we'll obviously be going coyote hunt. Also, remember that bipod? It was a Caldwell, looked like carbon fiber. It was garbage. We already took it off. I'm sending it straight back to Amazon. If you go to buy that one, I'm just going to say this, we did not like it. So you probably won't either. All right, we're going to send the first few down range. Now, keep in mind this isn't a new gun. It's just a new stock, so we don't actually have to break in the gun. We do have to sight it in, though, because the scope's new. We'll put two on there. Let's go check it out. Okay, we'll move it closer. Wait, no, the bullets are hitting over here. Nice. That's bad. All right, so those last two shots that y'all didn't see, right, I was aiming for the back wheel and we're shooting about an inch out at 100 yards. We're gonna let the gun cool for a minute. I'm pretty sure it's pretty much sighted in. I'm gonna shoot one right here and then we're actually, we'll pop the steel a few times. All right, let's do it. This gun is shooting really good, especially with that ammo. That ammo is awesome. <laughs> the bipod, I can't say the same. This one's going right between the eyes of Little Caesar himself. I forgot air protection on that one. Damn. Now I'm going to those ones up there. Those will be a little bit harder because I can't use this. If I can't hit a shot like this, then I ain't ready to go coyote hunting. There we go. I'll hit right. it one more time. This gun is ready to go coyote hunting. Click right here to subscribe to the channel or click right over here for some gun videos or right over here for an air gun video if you like pellet guns. I don't know what you want. You, Dave,